Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx and welcome back to Echoes of the Eye. Today we're going straight back to the dreaming world and we're going to revisit the music house. I don't know if it's got an official name yet, I haven't really checked the ship log, so I don't know what the proper name is. I'm going to call it the music house. The house of which music was played. And I cannot really tell you how much of an impact it actually had revisiting that place or visiting it for the first time without music. As a musician, as someone who's grown up in a culture of music and of emotional expression through music, hell, I, I grew up playing jazz and jazz uh, has a history with this kind of very soulful way of expressing yourself through a medium through music so music's really important to me it means a huge amount to me and that's why i react so strongly to music in games the sheer absence of it was noted there was an emptiness to that place i've kind of grown accustomed to the idea that there are now going to be things there which is weird because outer wild spy and large other than the travelers is a very lonesome game. It's you against the wilds. And now we've kind of reached this point where now there's, there's, there's people there. Yes, they don't want us there. We're, we're encroaching. We are, right? But suddenly going to a place and then not being there is disturbing on like a base level. I do think it'd be quite interesting to go back sometime and kind of doing almost like a, a mini mythbuster moment where we're going to go back and i want to see what happens in that place to the bodies i want to see in that moment where the water hits what occurs in there do they try to wake up do the flames just go out what happens because i need to know i i said this before in an earlier episode the nomai bar one are gone completely and i think we kind of got to the point where we accepted that we knew that they were so long ago that they were gone but now we've got these bodies that are still here and these consciousnesses that are still here that we can interact with it hits different seeing them die because in my mind there's no illusion really about that's what's happening when we hear those shrieks in the distance, that's not good. There's no world in which that is a good sound. And I just don't know how to feel about that, because I know I've been very vocal in how I don't know how to feel about the strangers, about the freaklets, how they give me iffy vibes. But despite all that, I don't wish that upon them. And I never will. So the first part of call today is we're going to check the ship log. I need to re-watch the reel um, to do with that first area because there's a certain path we need to follow to be able to reach that house and I don't know if it's going to be easier with the freaklets in motion and we're going to have to kind of Sly Cooper our way through that but I don't really know. Um, preferably I'd like to do it without them being there which makes me feel bad. I don't really like the idea of having to do that because they're cool people um, and I don't wish them to be in pain or to be suffering but my god it would be so much easier if I don't have to worry about getting caught. So there's a dense forest along the banks of the river I found a covered bridge leading into the darkest part of the forest. There was definitely more to explore in the forest area and I feel like we could maybe go have a look at that once we know it is safe. There's a lot of stuff there that is missing. Um, let's have a quick look though. Fireplace reel. So they go over the bridge. Okay, they go off to the left. Then around. I don't know, that, that looks fairly simple to me. That looks fairly self-explanatory to me, but I could just be being really silly which is entirely plausible let's face it right um we'll go give it a go 
I'll give it a go while they're awake. Worst case scenario, we try it while they're awake. And if needs be, we have to wait until the worst happens and when it's quieter and I will just rummage around in the darkness until we find something helpful. We'll find out. We now know though I need to go to the first area. I need to go to the Cinder Isles, then go to the Shrouded Woodland, whatever it's called. Then I need to open that gate, then go back to the Waking World, and then when I'm in the Waking World I need to go to the Hidden Gorge because that's the safest place to be. And then when I'm at the Hidden Gorge I can go to sleep, get on the raft, go back. It's just like there's like a there's a puzzle here. There's a dance going on with with time and with the game and I love it Kind of similar I guess to how we're gonna have to do the finale for the base game You know of getting to the ash twin At the right time Getting the warp core taking the warp core You know we, we've got to time everything near as damn it perfectly. I'm like oh speaking of so we've got a lot of things to practice, but this is why this feels more like a heist than the base game does. The base game feels like we're, we're fulfilling something, we're doing something worthwhile. This feels like we are doing that, but we're stealing. Let's make no, you know, other assumptions. We're stealing. And it feels really cheeky, it feels wrong. Right, let's go grab this. Still don't know how to feel about all this. I will mention that every single episode. The ghost matter feels wrong to me. It feels wrong. Why is it only in that area and then the one around the real burning temple? There's only two places that I know of that I can remember where there is ghost matter on the stranger. Uh, but they surely, I think they were here or the interloper got here they must be because otherwise there wouldn't be any of this here but then i don't know everything just feels wrong the chronology feels so wrong <laughs> you are more hideous than i remember all right let's doze off i'm gonna half speed run this I'm not actually going to speedrun it because I don't think I'm capable of that. But we are going to run through. And we're going to go open that door. And we're going to try and make as much progress as humanly possible. Speaking of progress. Holy crap, guys. We've made progress. Um, I thought that water was footsteps. It is not. Um, yeah, since the, the supercut and some more of the videos uh, have been released, we just seem to be making so much progress as a community, and thank you is what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to go over it too much because we're mid-episode, but you're all very much appreciated, so thank you. Right, stage one of the heist complete. This is all just practicing for when we do the big heist. Actually, no, I don't even have to see the big heist, because if these are what I think they are, and they are literally just the passcodes, then I don't actually need to do them all in one go. I can just grab them as and when. Yeah, I don't even have to. I can just do it one at a time. That makes things so much easier. It's going to be a three-part heist. I'm hoping we can complete part one of the heist today. That'd be really dope if we could. I'd very much like that. Because I don't want to drag this on longer than it has to. I don't want the journey to end, but at the same time... I know that this will should only take a certain amount of time, and I don't want to take longer than it should do. Although I am quite leisurely in how I get everything done. I am very... happy with chilling and relaxing through all of this as much as I can. I said chilling, not stressing. This is in my top, I, I want to say this is in my top three themes, but I don't think I can even pick three themes from this game. But the river makes me happy. On like a base level, like this whole world 
offers so many fantastic opportunities. Like, I would love to come back here sometime and just do a bit of a montage like we did in Ad Memoriam. Where I can just showcase some of the beautiful views that we've seen in this. I just like photography. I'm a simple photography. Most of you will know that by now. If you've got this far and you haven't found that out by now, I like photography. I also really wish I could have a jetpack like this. IRL. Like, imagine how dope that would be. Just like zooming around the town centre with a jetpack. All right, Mr. Harthian. Let's go, I guess. Everyone's still accounted for. I just realised that the base plate of that fire is an eye. No, if you look at that, that is an eye. Could it be their third eye, maybe? You know? Okay, that must be the... Uh, the sails deploying, so we are well ahead of time. We're flying through this. And preferably, I would quite like to. So I can get there before our feathery freaklet friends drown. Preferably. If not, it just means I don't have to stress quite so much. I love this place. This is a place I would kind of build in Minecraft. I'm sure it's probably been built in Minecraft. If you haven't already, build it for me in Minecraft. Show me. I would love to see. Hello. Yeah, this, this place is so wholesome. It's so beautiful. Like, part of me would definitely be a Nomai, but I think part of me could quite comfortably be one of these freaklets. Like, look at them, just dreaming of home. Dreaming of a better place. The sounds in this place do not make me feel like this is, in fact, actually better in the slightest. It just... Bleh. Rancid vibes all around. But I do love the design in this. I love how I feel so small. I just... I'm trying to think of other games that make you feel this kind of small. Like, there's, I think there's a few games where, like, I can't think of them off the top of my head before anyone asks. Where you feel, like, comically small. Where, you know, you're, like, toy-sized. But this, I just feel... Slightly too small. I went the wrong way, didn't I? It's this way. The music tells so many stories and so many words that, well, not in words, because there's no words, there's no lyrics to it. But I do just feel like there's a melancholy here. Even though they're surviving, even though they have this world, you know, there's definitely like a mourning going on. I, I don't know why they can't go home though. Like, is it just home is so far away? But then, to me, that kind of begs the question of... Is what they saw a vision? Is it a vision or is it a memory? I hope to God. I don't even know which one I would prefer, and I don't want to know. You know, I don't really want to know. I'll find out at the end of the game. But there's just... You know when like, you get the, the vibe, something isn't adding up here. Something isn't... Something isn't adding up. It's a bit like the ghost matter. Something's wrong inherently with that. There's just something doesn't feel right. And I can't put my finger on it. But we'll find out. For now... Oh, record time. That would have been embarrassing if I... Hell. Well, let's slink around here. Now, I do actually have to be careful now. Because... There are actually free clits now. So I've got to be so careful. And I don't really know what... The Best course of action is going to be. Course? Of course. Um, I don't know what the best 
course of action is going to be if we do run into one. You know? Oh, yeah, look, you can see one over there. Just patrolling, just vibing. Oh, if I activate this bridge, is that going to let them know? Look over there. That's the way in. Oh, are they going to just keep going round in like a patrol? Ah, so it tells me there's one in here. This just feels like it's going to be one in here. I'm going to I'm going to be a little bit of a wuss. I'm just going to watch for a little bit longer and see if I can see where the all ass is. I can't tell if that's the same one, just walking back and forth. Oh no, there's one over there, look. Are they just in like one big old conga line? I think they're in one big conga line. I want to go play conga. I don't think you play conga. What is the correct term for doing a conga? I've never actually thought of that. Oh, I'm convinced there's one behind me. But if I don't look, I won't see it. That's how logic works. This place is both beautiful and haunting. I can see one up on the top. Is that the one who's... I love and hate the music. No offence, Mr. Music Man. Is that all of them in there now? Uh, okay, there's one over there. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I know I need to go and explore over there, but honestly, I don't really want to explore. I'm so sorry. Right. It's left. It was left first. Don't know if they came this far or not. I know they went right. Right. Further, it's got to be further. No, ah, sugar. I'm completely lost again. How can it be so difficult? Or is this one of those stupid hidden bridges? There's no obvious way. How, right, how the heck? Oh my God, I feel, I, I'm so sorry because I know people are going to be watching this and tearing their hair out because I've done some, just, I've done something very basic, very, very wrong. I 
I've done something very, very wrong and I can't quite figure out what it is. I thought it was really obvious. I thought they went over here. Right. Took a right. And then just kept walking. They can't have done. It's just water. What am I doing wrong? It's, it's, it, you just walk. How can I be walking wrong? I'm going to give it one more go. And if I can't do it, we're going to go and explore, like, over there. They went that way. Right, they just did. They went this way. This is new. I don't think this is where we're meant to be going, but this is new. So I'm going to go and explore it. This is definitely new. Oh, they were playing chess. Oh! Okay, so they just sleep upright. So they're not being held in place. Well, they are to an extent, I think. They just sleep like that? Well, let's be fair, owls do sleep upright. I think. So this... Why do I feel so stupid? More water. More water. More water. Right, so um, it's got something to do with the trees. They definitely walked over here, right? It's got to be to do some something to do with like how many trees they pass. It's got to be right. That's got to be it. I've never been so frustrated in all my life. And it's and I apologise completely. I am a genius of the highest order and no one should ever doubt me again. Right, let's get on with this. I am running out of time and I am... <sighs> oh, but wait. No, but I need... Right, no, we can come back and explore at another time. For now, I need to get down here. We can come back and have a proper look around everything before we finish the game. And I promise we will do, because I want to see everything else that this game has to offer. Reels, 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 so many reels, so many reels. <laughs> yes, yes, they kept them all. <laughs> you son of a bitch, of course, it's not that simple. What have you done with it? What have you done with it? Wait, 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 wait.
this isn't a dream world. This is just a big simulation. What does that mean? What happens if I jump off? Look at it all. This is the full reel. I'm so sorry. I don't have a home to go back to. This is home. This is why they were so angry. I'm so sorry. I... I'm so sorry. This... You gave everything to get here. And it wasn't what you hoped at all. And now you're all dead. You have nothing else to do other than just dream and hope and pray that one day it's all going to be better and you'll find somewhere new. wonder they're so protective of this place this is home all this time this is home and we've been treating it like our own playground they are so much more human than I could have ever thought I That's why they were so ashamed.
They tore it all down, the trees, everything. Also, that they could maybe find this thing that they worshipped. And all they ended up finding was heartbreak. I need to try before this ends I need to see what happens and just see if we can manage it just quickly what happens if we fall off when it's loading when it's finding the next simulation Shortcuts. Why do I need to why do I need to get back here? Why do I need to get back here in such a hurry? I can get everywhere from here? last ones I'm just I don't really know what I was expecting I I I don't even know what I was expecting. I just... I was so happy that we found it all, that we found their knowledge, we found everything that they left behind. Everything they destroyed, everything they hid. And why they were so damned ashamed of it all. so damned afraid of it all. <laughs> 